Today we're going to talk about immigration and inbreeding. That's right. You've all heard about immigration ad nausea. Ad nauseum. I get it. I've been covering it since 1994. And when I started in radio in 1994, my first show was about immigrants and epidemics. Many people called me the same names that they're calling Donald Trump today, including those in talk radio who have since embraced themselves as anti-immigration specialists. But that's irrelevant. What's relevant is we're talking about immigration. How many we need? Do we need any? What kind do we need? Should we uh, have some kind of litmus test for immigrants? These are important questions. Now, I, in my book, Government Zero, called for no immigration for seven years, period. A blanket ban. All immigrants, seven years. I don't care where they're from. We don't need immigrants. The country is sinking. We have a very high unemployment rate. We do not need any more immigrants in the workforce. What we need to do is train the unemployed to work in the workforce. That's number one. And number two, and it's a very delicate subject, and I'm warming up to it very slowly because it's something new to talk radio. We're going to talk about Muslim inbreeding, especially in the third world. It's a very important topic. We're also going to talk about Islamic terrorism and why it doesn't exist in Japan. Now, the reason Islamic terrorism doesn't exist in Japan is very simple. Do you know why? Why is it one of the most developed nations on earth has almost no te terrorism? It's a democratic society. Is Japan a racist society, Hillary? Is Japan a racist society, Hillary? They're not affected by ISIS. There was not a single terrorist attack perpetrated by Muslims in Japan. There was not a single minor riot, disturbance, or protest about cartoons about the Prophet Muhammad in Japan. How did that happen? How come Japan has no terrorism? Think about it. They have one of the most advanced societies on earth. They have one of the most advanced technological societies on earth. And um, it seems they don't have too many mosques. They don't have any mosques. They don't have any too many Islamic schools. They haven't banned pork in public places. They haven't banned churches in Japan. They haven't introduced separate hours for boys and girls in swimming pools in Japan. In Japan, Japanese male doctors are actually allowed to touch their female patients. How is that possible? Did you know that in Japan, Muslim women do not get immense social aid each time they bear a child? Did you know that there are no Sharia courts in Japan? Did you know the Quran is not considered a holy book in Japan? So the reason Japan has no problems with terror is that Japan is fundamentally closed to Muslims. Now, officially, Japan is not closed to Muslims. However, the number of immigration permits, Hillary, given to the applicants from Islamic countries is near zero. If you want to get a working visa and you're a Muslim, even if you are a doctor or an engineer or a manager sent by foreign companies that are working in Japan, well, maybe you'll get a permit, but it's very hard. There are very few Muslims in Japan. Very, very few. One of the leaders of the Muslim community in Japan, Nur ad-Din Mori, was asked, what percentage of Japan's total population are Muslims? He said, well, the answer at the moment is one out of 100,000. The person who did this article, Y.K. Cherson for Prison Planet, said that Japan's population is 130 million people. So if these Muslim leaders are correct, he writes, then they must be around 1,300 Muslims. 1,300 Muslims. But even those Muslims who obtained immigration permits and lived for many years in Japan have a very, very low chance of becoming Japanese citizens. Did you know that Japan officially forbids exhorting people to adopt the religion of Islam? Did you know that any Muslim who actively encourages conversion to Islam is seen as proselytizing to a foreign and undesirable culture? Did you know that any promoter, uh, active promoter of Islam faces deportation, even a jail sentence in Japan? Did you know that, unlike in New York City, Bill de Blasio, the Arabic language is very rarely taught in, a, in academic uh, uh, institutes in Japan? I guess the Japanese are now going to be on the no-fly list. I guess all Japanese will now be banned from entering England. Did you know that importing the Quran in Arabic is practically impossible? 
And the only Quran permitted is the adapted version in Japanese where there is no calling for killing and head cutting. Exactly what I told you needs to be done in this country. How do you bring in a book that says kill the infidel? How do you let it? How does a nation permit that? A book that teaches sub morons to kill the infidel. And you wonder why some of the sub morons who have interbred kill the infidel and cut off heads and blow up children's centers. Where are they getting this insanity from? In Japan, only two mosques in Japan. Tokyo, Jama Mashid and Kobe Mosque. The total number of Muslim praying sites in Japan, 30 single-story mosques. 100 apartment rooms set aside for prayers. Japanese society expects Muslims to pray at home. No laying down in the street, taking over public squares. Take over the public squares to pray to Allah. Can't happen in Japan. If they try it in Japan, they're, high, they're highly fined. They can deport them. Take a look at what's going on in London. They just had a couple of hundred thousand fanatical liber laborites like Hillary Clinton and Muslims wanting Donald Trump banned from England. England's finished. Did you know that Japanese companies seeking foreign workers specifically say they do not want Muslims? Did you know there's not even a trace of Sharia law in Japan? Did you know halal food is almost impossible to find in Japan? You want me to go on? I can go on. Well, you can go on. You can read it for yourself. Read it for yourself. Why there is almost no Islamic terrorism in Japan. The reason is, is there's no Islamic immigration into Japan. That's number one. There's no catering to Muslims. That's number two. That's why Japan will survive, number three.